this is going to be a tutorial on how to use Streamlabs and how I personally have my Streamlabs set up um, with OBS. So what you're going to want to do is of course log in with the account that you're going to use, whether it's uh, Twitch or YouTube, log into your account. So if you don't have the link for Streamlabs, I'll put the link in the description below. But basically once you're on Streamlabs and logged in, all you're going to want to do is open up OBS as well. And I'm going to go through three basic things that you're going to need to set up. Number one is going to be your chat. Number two is going to be your alert box. Number three is going to be the event list. Number one, we have the chat. Now to set up chat, once you're signed in on Streamlabs, all you're going to want to do is scroll down. Go down to where it says chat box under widgets and click on it. Now in here, you're going to see at the top you have some like pre-made things. We have a widget URL which is going to be very important so make sure that you know uh, where this is and you identify it and sort of look at it. Um, then we have the example of what your chat is going to look like and then we have some options to go ahead and change. So nothing in here you're really going to want to change too much. Um, these are just personal personal options, the colors, uh, sort of like the theme, uh, the font that you're using, how big the font is, that's all personal. To um, The only real important thing here that you're going to want to pay attention to is how long the text stays on the screen. Like do you want this the text that somebody writes to stay on the screen forever or fade away as it goes up or go away after 40 seconds or a minute. Uh, so that's something that you can see is going to be an option right here. It says hide message after. Some people use always show messages, Some that way they just fade as they go up and off the screen. And then some people use, um, like I personally use hide the message after, just so that it's not on the screen all the time. And it just, you know, makes the gameplay look a little bit more focused during the stream. Um, so it just depends what your focus is. If your focus, like chat communication, or is your focus, um, going to be like creating highlights of that gameplay later like are you going to be cutting that gameplay and like trying to use it for different videos um, whether it's like a highlight clip or a montage or a compilation video or something like that so it just depends on what your personal preference is with that um, and that's basically it so once you're done with all these personal options you just click save and it says settings saved and then you go up here to the widget URL which is what we went over first when we got on this page and then you click copy once you click on copy you're gonna go to OBS and then in OBS I don't know if you guys can see this 100% but you go to OBS you go to sources you add a new source and the source type is browser and then in the browser obviously you can just name it whatever I just name it chat and then once you do that you go to the URL at the top and then just paste in the URL you just copied click OK and you're done and then you can just resize it within the OBS window so I'm going to go ahead and remove this because I already have my chat window made um, and then next we're going to go over uh, how to add your alert box okay so once you go up to the widgets and you click on the alert box it's the thing with the bell uh, you're gonna see that you have the same sort of layout you know you have these things that so you go to widgets you go to alert box and you can see there's just the widget URL again you have a test donation test subscriber test sponsor and a test super chat just to make sure that it's working and then you have the same exact settings like it's just personal settings so do so you have an alert delay a limited unlimited alert moderation delay I just have that disabled uh, the background color you have the um, layout of the alert and usually you just want to use this one right here um, just depends on you know whatever your preference is I uh, actually like this one here at the end too then you click save now those are the general settings that are going to use you're going to uh, incorporate to every single alert now once you've done that you can go over to donations, subscribers, sponsors and super chats and that's just basically going to give you two different things. So basically when someone subscribes, donates, sponsors, or super chat you, you'll have a message that pops up. So you're going to want to configure that message. And as you can see right here, it says name, just subscribe. So you can change that to, you know, anything, name, 
uh, just join my team name just sub to my channel you can change that to the personal text that you want and then you're also for the alert gonna need a gif so if you don't know a gif just a moving image a, a, just like a three to four second moving image clip um, and you can take them from Google you literally just type in whatever like say basketball gif and then go to that save it and then upload it to here just by going to the image change media and then you click drag and drop upload and then it, you just grab the file it uploads it to here and you can use whichever one you want um, so you click on it click OK and that's the gif you use and then you can also use your own custom sound but just know that the sound has to sort of like you can't have a a song that's a minute long on an alert that's six seconds long so you have to use a sound that um, is equal to the amount of time that the alert is going off so if the song is uh, clipped to five seconds and the alerts five seconds that's fine but if the music if the songs a minute long and the uh, gif that you're using is only you know five seconds long or the alert that you're using is only five seconds long you would see where that wouldn't work so just keep that in mind when you're using your alerts uh, your sound for your alerts and then of course you have the alert text delay the alert duration the alert duration which shows you or just basically says how long the alerts gonna last you have the alert text delay and then enable custom HTML and CSS which is just if you know how to write HTML and CSS code then you can take that and tweak it within the uh, OBS studio without having to you know do all the settings on here you can next we have the font settings alert variations and those are just basically personal things like the font weight color highlight color um, is it bold italics underline you know what I mean so that's all personal preference but after you're done with that you're gonna make sure you click save and then make sure that this is done so it says alert box updated here in the top right that's important because if it doesn't does if it doesn't do that then all of your settings that you just went over won't be saved. You have to redo it all again. So make sure you click that and that's it for the alert box. Now we have to go on to the event list, which is basically here well, I'll show you right here before I go and start to explain it. It's basically just the uh, scroll of like boxes that goes down that just basically says the events that are going on in your channel. So like for the alerts that pops up for five seconds. And it's usually a GIF, but the um, event list is basically anything going on on your channel, and it pops up, um, you know, as as you can see here. So, so you guys already know to use a browser um, in OBS. You go know how to copy the URL and basically get you know that you just change the theme, the theme color, the text, uh, um, and the what am I trying to say? The text and the text color, the background color, the font you're using, uh, the font weight, stuff like that. That's all personal things. So I'm just going to go over the gist of what this is. Um, it says theme. You can pick whatever theme you want. Theme color, obviously, just the color. Enable events. These are the events that um, your event, event list will actually use. So if you don't have um, donations because you're not on Twitch and you're on YouTube and you get super chats, so you probably would have to or want to use uh, no donations so if you're on YouTube you don't get donations you get super chat and if you're on Twitch you get donations not super chats so just make sure that you have either one clicked depending on where you're streaming so next we have the max events which is the amount of events that will pop up at a single time on the screen the background color text color font all the personal stuff the animation speed fade time those are personal I just leave them as default and then we have the enable custom HTML and CSS, but you could just leave disabled as well. So you just literally create a browser source and throw the URL that you got from right here into there, and you're done. Um, other than that, that's how you use a chat box, that's how you use an alert box, and that's how you use an event list on OBS Studio. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.